Hello everyone, I am Samantha Golinski and today we are at CAE Madrid with our colleague Raquel Mora, cabin safety instructor and in a, what really looks like a real aircraft mm -hmm. but actually we're using this to train cabin crew members. Yeah. So Raquel, how many cabin crew do we train uh, per year? Per year. year. Mm -hmm. So we have normally like a 15,000 cabin crew per year visit from different companies around Europe and Asia, Africa. Wow. So, yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And do you only train cabin crew or do you also train pilots in that setup? We train both. Both. Yeah, because the, uh, the authorities require the cabin safety training about the fires and evacuations for cabin crew and pilots. Yeah. Wow. So, so pilots, what kind of procedure do they train on in a cabin crew trainer like this yeah. one? They have to practice the coordination with cabin crew in case of emergency and what to do with the doors and the emergency equipment in case of the cabin crew they are incapacitated. For example, in case of an emergency or, or if they are uh, flying alone because they have a ferry flight or something like that and they have a fire in the cabin. So it's not just training in the cockpit, they also have to be ready to manage emergencies in the cabin if there is anything that uh, they need to take care of. Mm -hmm. Quite fascinating. So how long does it take to train a cabin crew? Well, uh, depends on the authority, but normally it's between two weeks or can be three months, depends. Okay. Okay, we have the Danish uh, authorization for the cabin initial course and it longs uh, two weeks. Two weeks of yeah. training. Two weeks, the initial course. The initial course. And then, yes. so it's just like pilots, you have to do your initial and then yeah. you have to do your recurrent training. Yeah. So how often do they have to come back and do their recurrent training? Every year, we have to practice again and review again all the topics. Practical so and training. training. Every year, they have Every to come year. back and practice again. Every year. Every year. So what is that exactly do they train on? Because I know they have to train on emergency procedure, but there is also the customer experience aspect that they train on as well. So what do you do here? What do you train on? Well, normally here in CAE Madrid, we are in touch of the safety training. Safety only. training. Okay. Yeah, depending on the company, maybe they, they can request a little bit more about uh, customer service. But basically, the, the, the basics topics are always about safety. Safety. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of procedures do they, yeah. do they learn? Uh, so, for example, what to do in case of uh, decompression in flight or uh, evacuations on ground, ditching, and we review uh, get, uh, security procedures too, for example, what to do with an unruly passenger or what to do in case of a hijack. So, so everything? Everything. How long do they have to evacuate the aircraft? Uh, it has to be done in less than 90 seconds. Less than 19 seconds. Yeah. So it doesn't leave a lot of time for thinking. You really have to be trained. Yeah, for the reason we practice a lot, a lot, a lot. Because everything when it happens and you receive the command, you have to react and repeat it. Perfect. That's amazing. So we talk a lot about immersive training at CAE and I mean it couldn't be more immersive than that. We really feel like we are inside a real aircraft, a real cabin. So thank you so much Raquel for talking to us about cabin crew training and how we prepare you know, our cabin crews for those moments that matter at CAE. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.